check out this free video and make sure you hit like and subscribe. Anyway, Grand Slam. <laughs> John Moxley and Darby for the world title shot. Young Bucks versus Osprey and Fletcher. Mariah May versus Yuka Sakazaki. Claudio Pac and Wheeler against We Don't Know. And Hook versus Roderick Strong. So here, here's the thing with this show. I could go on for an hour on this one. They're at, I think, 5,000 tickets, okay, in Arthur Ashe Stadium. They've, they've added about, I don't know, 800 tickets in the last week. 800 in the last week. They're at 5,000. It's like, should the idea be, let's try to sell some tickets? Well, they're still pushing that Brian Daniels and Nigel might not take place. Wednesday was the go-home show, and they still haven't told you that the match is on. So, like, if you're on the fence about buying tickets, it's like, should I buy tickets or not? I don't know if the match is on. They did not tell you that. They did not tell you on the go-home show that Mariah May is defending against Yuka Sakazaki. They alerted us on, on Twitter. And uh, and we have no idea who Claudio, Pac, and Wheeler are facing. So, anyway, we're stuck at 5,000. Back in a moment, Observer Live. Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Except for Vivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. So, yes, Grand Slam is at 5,121, according to WrestleTix here. Last year, they did 11,263. So we're on our way to doing less than half of one year ago. And I know I know people are going to say, dude, they're signing a huge TV deal. Everything, everything is fine. Everything is fine, okay? Everything is fine with NXT as well. My point is, how about we try and do better than fine? Which I think we could. If you put graphics on the screen at NXT, the show's better, okay? So you're already doing better. And it costs nothing. You announce, like, what the hell's going on for Grand Slam? Maybe you'll sell some more tickets. This guy here says, well, listen, you know, if you don't know that Brian and Nigel is actually happening, you're an idiot or something into that name. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it is happening, obviously. But, like, they're telling you on TV it might not. That's what they're advertising. This match might not happen. He might not be cleared. So, like, there are people who are not going to spend money. It's just, it's just, a th I had a guy on, on Twitter the other day, he DM'd me. And he goes, you know, I haven't been watching, but like, uh, is is um, is Brian and Darby still the title match for the show? And I said, actually, no, they changed it. Uh, Moxley and Darby are fighting for a title shot, and Brian is facing Nigel non-title. And they were like, what? I'm not gonna go. And if in and other people are gonna say, well, it's one guy and there's five thousand people that have bought tickets. So there's there's a lot of people in that market that aren't going. They went last year, and they're not going this year. Half the people that went last year aren't going this year, okay? So don't tell me that things don't matter or whatever, or that people are stupid or people... Half the people that went last year, more than half right now, are not going. That's it. Do you have any idea on why MJF was given time off? Is there any report of an injury or some sort of family emergency or something like that and this and is if, what they do dude this is their I know, cycle well, but th that's like, what he's I was gonna i was gonna ask you not on this see. cycle you know i mean you know how many you're, people you're, you're not using mjf on a cycle before you go into arthur ash stadium which yes, is where you he are. would be the biggest and okay sure yes. i mean right. you know how many people are just hanging out doing nothing i mean we already talked about brit daniel garcia mjf i mean I could go on, but they're just. But where the heck is uh, um, a Mercedes been? Martinez or Monet? Both of them. <laughs> where have they been? Apparently, Mercedes Monet is online talking about the fact that she should not have let any hopes of doing something, whether teaming or singing with or dancing with Megan the Stallion, out because Megan obviously doing the SmackDown theme song um and maybe she makes another appearance down the line for wwe survivor series wrestlemania something like that and uh she's not happy about that oh mjf so uh yeah is. mjf actually might be doing a movie but okay you know still we don't know as, as viewers he just vanished 
Him and yeah. Daniel Garcia have vanished. Britt Baker's vanished. Mercedes has vanished. I mean, people just vanish. Just... How much injury time is going to be added to Miro's uh, contract? I don't even know if Miro... That's, I don't know what's going on with Miro. That's one of those things where it's like, I know with uh, Phoenix and Penta, okay. I, okay, I can kind of see that one. If Miro gets any injury time added onto his contract, I think if I'm Tony Khan, I just say, ah, you know what, let's call it even, get out. Now, we did have, uh, you know, we had a lot of build towards the Grand Slam on, on Dynamite. And, you know, some of it was good. Some of it I couldn't figure out. Like... <laughs> The continued pushing of Brian Danielson may not be able to wrestle in the show next week. That one is just, that goes over my head. This is so dumb. And did they play, did they, and I, I may have missed it, fast forward through it, I don't know. Did they play uh, McGinnis's promo from Saturday? I know they played a little thing, but did they have him talk about what his mentality was to try to have that storyline make sense? I think they just had a video package of his that's career. What I, yeah, that's what I thought. So we had, uh, I think, so we had Serena and Mariah versus Queen Aminata and Yuka Sakazaki. And the finish was one of those rare disqualifications where Yuka hit a big splash on Serena and Mariah hit her with the belt for the DQ. And these fans are furious at this finish. And this leads to a title match. A DQ and a tag is leading to a title match. Now, one would think, why the heck didn't Yuka just pin Mariah May? Or whatever, set up a title. I think they're, they're, my my presumption is the idea was that, well, we're already doing that in the main event. So instead of doing it twice on the same show, let's do a lame DQ instead. So that's what happened there. Because the main event was, I mean, it was, the main event was like the best thing on the show by miles. Because he had Young Bucks and Okada versus Takeshita, Fletcher, and Osprey. And first off, the match was awesome. That's number one. Number two... Much of the match was getting you excited to see Okada versus Osprey and also Okada versus Takeshita. Then the finish was Kyle Fletcher and Osprey pinning Matt Jackson to set up the tag team title match coming up next week, and Fletcher got the pin. So, like, everything was great here. The only thing that I would question, and I'm not questioning it that hard, but I don't know if there are plans to go babyface with Takeshita. Like, you know, he was put with Don Callis, and he went heel. And we've just been waiting for whatever the point of that was to come to fruition. Because, like, they hang out together and, you know, whatever. But, I mean, he's out there as a total babyface in this match. And he's making a babyface comeback, and the place is going nuts. And I just watched this match, and I thought... This guy either better be turning babyface, or I don't know what we're doing here. Because the people don't want him to be a heel. Just like they don't want Okada to be a heel, but he is. They may be putting some time on that with Takeshita, though. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, because he did stare down Osprey at the end. So there's that aspect of it, too. And down the line you can probably wait on that one a little bit depending on what story you're going to tell with osprey and the rest of that callous faction too you know is mark davis coming back what is going to be kyle fletcher's deal where is roosh right now i like dave's idea last night about putting mortos with you know and again that doesn't necessarily have to do anything with osprey but He's going to end up mixing it up more with Callus because the Fletcher part of that story is still going to take precedence. And what we also had last night was Ricochet actually make an official challenge to Osprey as well. Yes, I, I, I know what he's saying about putting Mortos with Callus because Callus can do the promos for him well, and everything like that. Talk for, and this is what I'm thinking. Well, I'm not saying you can't rely on Roosh. But Roosh is Roosh. One of the reasons we like him inside the ring is because he kind of acts like that outside the ring. It's the same dude sort of thing. But he also makes it kind of tough to rely on. And with Mortos, you don't really have that. So you can have that heavy Why is he tough to rely on? What, because what, Roosh? Yes. He can be a little obstreperous. I don't even know what that word means. He can be a little bit of a tough guy to deal with, I guess, sometimes. He's not that tough to deal with. I mean, he was tough to deal with some places, but he hasn't been tough to deal with here. 
Well, they just okay. don't do anything with him. Well, again, in that case, even better. Stick Mortos with him to have Roosh there, and again, have that faction. I don't think that's a bad thing. Why? Why do you? Why would you? Well, I'll tell like you. That? I'll tell you my problem with it. Okay, I don't really have a problem with it, but here's the problem with it. Okay, all right. So you put Mortos with Callus. Callus does promos for him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So if you look at the people in the Don Callis family, I mean, for months, I mean, they're starting to do something now, but months and months and months, they did nothing with Fletcher. They did nothing right. with Roosh. I, I get they what you're They did going. nothing. Like, I you get can what put, you're saying. Well, let me continue. Go ahead. Put what whoever you, you want. Put whoever you want with Don Callis. But then you got to do something with the Don well, Callis yes, family. Yes, that's everybody. That's the entire show. You could say that about literally everything. I know. That so they my have going my on. point is, like, it doesn't do any good to put Mortos with Don Callis if, like, Don Callis is just a guy that every now and then comes out and does commentary, and every now and then he does a promo and gets booed, and his guys go in and lose. I mean, are we gonna do something with the Don Callis family or what? I don't know. Like, this are guy's the hottest some- heel you've got in the company, and like, he doesn't do anything, right? Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.